So today in physics, we are going to be looking at the international system of units and we are going to start by looking at the units of measurements. So in physical experiments, we take accurate measurements to measure physical quantities such as length and time. So in our physical experiments, we take accurate measurements to measure physical quantities such as length and time. So I'm going to write uh, those two. So we actually measure length and time. Then we can define a physical quantity as a measurable feature or property of an object. So we can define a physical quantity as a measurable feature. So a physical quantity is defined as a measurable feature of an object. So anything that you can measure that uh, that is referred to as a physical quantity. So a measurable feature of an object. That's a physical quantity. And an example of a physical quantity that I can give is what length. So an example An example of physical quantity that I can give is length. So I have said that a physical quantity is a measurable feature or property of an object. And an example that I've given is a uh, length. Then in the past, a number of different units were used to measure the same quantity. To avoid confusion, scientists now use one set of units referred to as the SI units. So today, the scientists, scientists use these types of measurements and they are referred to as the SI units. And the reason why the SI units are used is to prevent confusion around the world. So that's a uh, Oh, about the units of measurements, let us now look at the base units. So under base units, scientists chose a set of base quantities that could be that could use to describe other quantities. By international agreement, they then define the size of the base unit of measurement of each quantity. Then in the case of length, the base unit of measurement is the meter. So wherever you can go around the world, you're going to find that the base units of length are the meters. So if you go to Malawi, you're going to discover they're using meters. If you go to Tanzania, you're going to discover they're using meters. Or here in Zambia, we actually use meters so let us now look at uh, the seven base units of measurement so uh, the seven base units of measurements so here we have uh, the physical quantity we have the symbol and the unit and we actually said that a physical quantity is a measurable feature of an object so from that we we see that we have our physical quantity here and our first physical quantity we have length and the unit of length is meter so wherever you can go around the world you're going to discover that the units for length are meters then that's the symbol then the other physical quantity we have mass then the units of mass that's kilogram 
then we have that symbol then the phys other physical quantity we have time and the unit is second and we have that symbol then the other physical quantity we have the more dynamic temperature and uh, the unit is kelvin and we have that symbol k then we also have amount of substance and the amount of substance the units are moles and they're represented by that symbol then we also have electric current and the units there it's a uh, ampere and uh, that's the symbol then we have uh, luminous intensity uh, the unit is uh, cadilla and the symbol is cd so these are just some of the examples of physical quantities so it will be important for you to actually master these units and their symbols because they're going to help us as we continue looking at physics in two more details or as we continue looking at other topics let us now look at derived units so uh, the definition of the derived units uh, is referred in this form is one which is obtained by multiplying or dividing two or more base units and here i'll give an example for example uh the units for area the units for area we know that we multiply meter by another meter and that's going to give us a squared meter or meter squared 